In this video, I'd like to show you how you can create a process from start to finish. First, I would drag and drop the start event element from the shapes panel. Then, by double clicking on the element, I would give it a label. In this case, we are creating a process about creating a presentation. So the start event will be called Presentation Required. After that, I will drag and drop my first task and call it Determine Presentation Scope. And we should remember to always connect the elements by using the arrows icon. Then I do the same for our second task, which is Create Presentation. And I'd select my first task to link it to the second task in the same way. Then I'd have my final task of this process for saving the presentation. And finally, I will add an end event to indicate that this process has been completed and the presentation has been created. So this is one way to create a simple process model. Another way which is more intuitive is to use shortcuts. So again, I will start by drag and drop the start event. Once the start event has been placed, you can see the different shortcuts available. In this case, I will just click on the task shortcut icon, which will automatically add a new task right after the start event. Once the new task element has been placed, you can see the same shortcuts available. And again, we will select the task icon to create our second task and we can do that until the end of our process where in the same way we will select the end event shortcut icon to create our end event element automatically. I recommend using the shortcuts as they save you time and the alignment between the elements is more accurate. Now in order to save our first process, we will navigate to the save option which allows you to name your process. And also to add any revision comments for this particular draft of your process. And finally, one of the great features of the tool is to provide you with process modeling syntax check, where it shows you if you have any errors in your process model and provides recommendations how to improve it. However, for now, I will just go ahead and save my process. So let's recap the elements we used to create our first process model. Every process begins with a start event element, which gives the process a purpose. Then we have task elements, which are the activities or steps within the processes. And at the end, we have the end event elements, which concludes the process. All these elements are connected with sequence flow, as we should not have any elements isolated from the process.